welcome to this channel what i have today like you can see is how to make these beautiful hats with a design at the lower part of the second face of this project can you see very loving very beautiful flower and crochet flower it's very very easy all you need to do is to watch this tutorial just take your time and watch this tutorial to the end at the end you will discover that it's something easy to make thank you very much uh, if this is your first time you watch uh, my video i welcome you to this channel here is a channel where you can learn a lot i mean a lot all you need to do is to click on the subscribe button below and you also hit on the notification bell so that you can have access to my videos uh, in this um, channel you learn how to cut and seal and at the same time how to crochet different kinds of uh, wears you will really really benefit so please don't forget to subscribe and then you share this video out and also like this video just to appreciate my work so thank you very much all right so we can start now i will be making use of uh, as you can see this is 3.5 mm this is the size of the hook i'm about to use for this project so now for the yarn i will be making use of two strands of yarn if you want it more thicker than this you can multiply this or you make it three strands but for me the two two strands is okay so right now i'm going to start so the first thing i'm going to do is to tie this in yarn as you can see on my finger like so so right now i'm going to bring it out like this can you see so i'm going to invite this in so i leave this i move i've left this one now i hold on to this then i chain one first haven't chained one I chain another one okay so I chain another one so I yarn over and I insert into the ring with double crochet I proceed into the ring double crochet I have three so I will be making eight of this so double crochet that's four double crochet five double crochet six seven and eight and see i have eight double crochets on this ring so right now i'm going to pull this one i'm going to pull it i pull can you see so right now i'm going to insert my hook so i move remember i have three chains here one two three so i'm going to insert into the third loop have one pull one two three i insert into the third loop with single i mean i make a slip stitch sorry and you see 
So I'm going to proceed. I chain one, two, three. So I insert into this same loop, double crochet. So in each of these same loops, I'm going to make two double crochet. So in this single loop, as you can see, I've made two double crochet. So I proceed into the next loop. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so, and nine. I insert into the second loop right here, the next loop. Where I will make two double crochet, as you can see. So, next loop. Two double crochet. Next. Two double crochet. Next, next, Two double crochet. Next, next. Two double crochet. So right now, I'm going to make a slip stitch. One, two, three. Into the last loop here, where I slip stitch. Can you see now if you look at it uh, critically you discover that uh, initially i made in that ring i made eight double crochet now by the time i make a slip stitch and i started on uh, the second round here you know i chain three and in that same loop i make another two double crochet making it two double crochet in that single loop so that single loop plus the other eight loops makes it nine so i have here if you look at it i have one two three four five six seven eight then nine this is the ninth one so right now from here i'm going to proceed I'm going to chain three one two three so in this loop this one i won't insert again i won't insert into this same loop like i did on this second row so i'm going to move into the next loop and the next loop is right here so it is in this next loop that i make two double crochet
and you see so here is the first loop so right now I'm going to proceed into the next loop one single crochet I mean one double crochet then in the next loop two double crochet one two then next one double crochet then next two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet so this is how I'm going to go till I round it up on this row so I'm left with the last loop as you can see this is the last loop can you see now there's a technique here if you look at this end loops you discover that there is one on top let me show you there is one on top and this is the first loop okay then this is another one the mid one the mid one now to make this same um, this to make what i'm doing right now not to bend like so not to fold like this to make it flat like this what i i'm doing now i've yarn over the hook instead of inserting into this the smaller loop on top no i won't do that i will insert right from the down loop and that is what i've been doing all around here and that is why it's been flat like this so remember this is one double crochet the next one will be two double crochet so that's just the secret behind it being flat like this so right now I'm going to make a slip stitch to round this in this up one two three I mean to conclude this round so I make a slip stitch as you can see you see so hardly will you see it fold like this no it will have to be flat can you see so right now i'm going to chain another three one two three so i'm going to insert into the next loop double crochet and you see then one two now into the la the third loop in this third loop i will be making two double crochet remember after the initial one which i made the next uh, round i make two double crochet in each of the loops then the next loop right here i made one double crochet then in the next loop two double crochet now coming to this one I make two one double crochet in each of the loops can you see in each in this loop just one double crochet in another in the next loop one double crochet then in the third loop two double crochet then I proceed next one double crochet next one double crochet then the third loop two double crochet So, as you can see, one, two, then the third loop, two double crochet. One, two, three. Two double crochet in the third loop. One, two, and you see two, then in the third loop, two double crochet. So, this is how I'm going to proceed till I round it up on this. Till I complete this round. And double crochet, then. In the third loop
on the third loop two double crochet so like so i proceed till i round it up till i complete this round so in the next loop i'm going to chain three again one two three so this is one i proceed into the next loop double crochet so right now i can decide to be inserting into the smaller loop on top since i've got the flat um look of this same project so I'll just continue inserting into the smaller loop up. So I have one, two. Remember the, the one, the concluded and round, I made two. And right now I'm going to increase it by one. So I have one, two, three. Then in the fourth loop, I proceed with, I make two double crochets. So next. One double crochet next one double crochet next one double crochet then the fourth loop two double crochet so this is how i'm going to go continue increasing till i get to the um the length of um this same first face of this same cap can you see so right now i'm going to make a slip uh, uh, a, a, a slip stitch i'm going to slip stitch it like i said one two then three so i insert can you see so like i said now this is the first uh, round one two three four five six now, um, depending on the size you want, so right now I'm going to proceed. So I chain one, two, three. Now the other time I said that um, at a point you can start to insert into the, the loop on the upper part, but there's no crime if you maintain that loop at the lower part. There's no crime in it. In fact, it will give you a very flat look of uh, your project so i'll decide to use on um, the the lower part now one two i proceed three double crochet four five then now it's going to i'm going to stop at six at this sixth is where I insert my two double crochets. That is one, two. So you, the concluding one here, I stop at fifth, the fifth one. So if you look at it, you discover that. Look at it, right from the base. The two double crochets in each of the loops. Can you see? Can you see like that? So I proceed next loop double crochet double crochet so you can decide to count and if for a beginner it's better you count so that so that you know you are not used to it so it's better you count no now if you don't want to count there is a way you can get it now you you insert the last one into the two double crochet and uh, I, 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 uh, the two double crochet and this is it so in between the two double crochet that's where it ends that's where i'm going to insert the two double crochets so it's aligned on each other like that so this is how i'm going to proceed next one double crochet next one double crochet next one double crochet next and this is the fourth one remember we are going to the sixth one this is the fifth 
then the sixth one is going to be in between the two double crochet in a loop can you see so this is how i'm going to proceed can you see how flat it is so as you can see i've completed the first phase of this project this is the first phase now depend like i said depends on the size you're making but this is just a an infant a little baby so it's okay for uh, by me at this same uh, um, size so right now i'm going to proceed so can you see can you see how it looks so right now i'm going to proceed like i said so i'm going to chain three one two three now on this second phase there won't be any increase it's just for me to insert in the uh, double crochet across the loops so right now i'm going to proceed so i will insert in the upper part of the loops double crochet so I'll proceed like that double crochet across the loops Now, if you look at it, I've not increased anything here. It's just double crochet across the loops. And that is how I'm going to take it round, round, round till I get to the length, my desired length. Can you see? So I won't change two. So I yarn over my hook. And I insert into the same loop I bring out the first two chains can you see I yarn over and I the next loop is this one but I'm going to skip this one I move to the next loop I bring out the first two chains so I yarn over my hook and I insert into the same loop can you see I bring out the first two chains so I'm left with one two three four so right now I'm going to bring out the four chains at a time can you see so I chain three one two three haven't chain three i yarn over my hook i insert into the next loop no now i'm not skipping so i insert into the next loop i bring out the first two chains i insert again into this same loop i bring out the first two chains can you see so right now I yarn over my hook and I skip this loop I move into the next loop I bring out the first two chains I insert into the same loop I bring out the first two chains can you see so right now I'm going to bring out the chains at a time so I chain three one two three so right now I yarn over I insert into the loop here so I bring out the first two chains can you see I yarn over I move into the next loop 
bring out the first two chains, yarn over, insert. I bring out the first two chains, and you see, so right here, I have one, two, three, four. So I bring it out at a time. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let me go over this again. I insert into this, bring out the first two chains. So I'm left with two chains. I yarn over, I insert into the next loop. I bring out the first two chains. I yarn over, I insert into the same loop. I bring out the first two chains. I'm left with four chains. So I yarn over. So right now I'm going to skip this one. And I move into the next loop. Bring out the first two chains. Insert again. Bring out the first two chains. So I'm going to bring out everything at a time right now. Sorry. So I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So I yarn over again. I insert into the loop. I bring out the first two chains. Can you see? So I yarn over. I insert into the next loop. I bring out the first two chains. Can you see? I yarn over my hook. I insert into the same loop. I bring out the first two chains, the first two chains. Can you see? So as you can see right here, I'm left with four chains on my hook. Can you see? One, two, three, four. So I yarn over. I skip this loop. I move into the next loop. I bring out the first two chains. I yarn over my hook and I insert into this same loop. I bring out the first two chains and you see so I'm left with one two three four five six so I'm going to bring everything out at a time so I chain three one two three can you see I yarn over I insert I bring out the first two chains. So I'm left with two chains. I yarn over. I insert into the next loop. I bring out the first two chains. I yarn over. I insert into the same loop. I bring out the first two chains. Can you see? I'm left with four. So I yarn over. I skip this loop. I move into the next loop. Bring out the first two chains. Yarn over. Insert into the loop, bring out the first two chains, the first two chains, sorry. So I'm left with six chains, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to bring it out at a time, at the same time, can you see? So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So after which I proceed, can you see? This is how I'm going to proceed till I complete this round. So right now, I'm going to make um, the slip stitch. So I'm going to insert here my slip stitch. So right now I'm going to remove my hook like so. So I insert from the back. So I invite this in. So 
so i'm going to insert my hook sorry can you see so can you see right now so i insert into this same loop so bring it out like so i yarn over I insert again into this loop so I bring out the first two chains can you see so I chain one I insert bring out the first two chain I'm left with two chains on my hook. I yarn over. So I bring out the three chains at a time. So I move to the next one. So I'm going to chain one fix. Now I move to this. Um, the next loop and the next loop is here why the next one is here this loop the next one is here like that so i insert into this next loop i bring out the first two chains i yarn over my hook and i insert into the same loop i bring out the first two chains i'm left with three chains on my hook so I bring it out at a time. I chain one. Can you see? So I insert still in this same loop. Bring out the first two chains. Yarn over the hook. I insert. I bring out the first two chains. As you can see, I'm left with three chains on my hook. So I bring it out at a time. So I chain one, I yarn over my hook and I insert into the next loop right here, can you see? I bring out the first two chains, I yarn over, I insert into the same loop, I bring out the first two chains, I'm left with three chains. So you can see it's, um, it's, um, double crochet cluster so i chain one i insert still in this same loop bringing out the first two chain so like i said is double crochet uh, cluster i bring that one out i chain one again i proceed into the next loop insert bringing out the first two chains then i bring this out i chain one still in this loop bring out the first two chains insert bring out the first two chains i'm left with three chains i chain one proceed into the next loop Okay. Chain one. Still in this same loop. Double crochet cluster. Can you see? Chain one. I proceed into the next loop bring out the first two chains yarn over insert bring out the first two chains double crochet cluster i chain one insert into the same loop bring out the first two chains yarn over my hook insert i bring out the first two chain double crochet cluster 
I chain one into the next loop and you see so I proceed double crochet cluster chain one in the same loop double crochet cluster So this is how I'm going to go till I round it up to this point. So I chain one, yarn over. This is the last loop left, so I insert into this loop where I make the last um, double crochet cluster. Bring out the first two chains. I chain one. Still in this same loop, double crochet cluster. So right now I'm going to chain one. I haven't chained one, so I make a slip stitch. I slip stitch right here. Can you see? So I insert here and make another slip stitch. So I conclude it here. Can you see? So right now I'm going to take this off. So as you can see right here, I've cut that off. So I'm going to pull this away. I'm going to tie this just once so I look for one of these so you may decide to insert your own starting from um, the second one but not exactly at this point I don't want it exactly where I just finished this so I could start from here and start from here so i'm going to invite the foundational color i've been using So right now, can you see? So I yarn over. sorry it's going to be single crochet what is two in this so I proceed into the next loop
them the loop here two single crochet next single crochet yeah two single crochet single crochet two single crochet so you can see this loop in this loop i made two single crochet then in this one which has served as the demarcation between this and this in is one single crochet then in between where i made the double crochet cluster in between it i made two single crochet so like that till i complete this round can you see one single crochet two single crochet so like this i proceed till i round it so. now as you can see i've completed the round can you see so right now i'm going to make a slip um, a slip stitch so I insert into the loop here and slip stitch. Can you see? So right now I'm going to chain two. One, two. So I yarn over and insert into this loop with half double crochet. I proceed into the next loop half double crochet next half double crochet next half double crochet next half double crochet so I have one two three four five six so so in the seventh loop right here I'm going to make two half double crochets. In the seventh loop, two half double crochets. So I proceed. Next loop, half double crochet. Next, half double crochet. Next, half double crochet. That's three next half double crochet four five six then in the seventh loop two half double crochet one two Can you see so I proceed, half double crochet, that's one, half double crochet, two, half double crochet, three, four, five, six, then the seventh loop, two half double crochet. see and this is how i'm going to proceed till i round up this till i complete this round so right now i'm going to make a slip stitch the last loop here you can see is two half double crochets so i make a slip stitch so 
so I proceed I chain two one two have double crochet next have double crochet next So, if you look, one. Now let's count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other time here, I have I inserted into the seventh loop. That is six half double crochet. Then in the seventh loop, two half double crochet. Now in this time, I've increased it by one. So that's why I'm having seven half double crochet. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in the eighth loop, this is the eighth loop, and this is where I'm going to impute my two half double crochet. And you see, so I proceed into the next loop, half double crochet, half double crochet. Have double crochet, have double crochet. Next, next, next. So here you discover that the eighth one is where I inserted my half double crochet and this is it. So from here I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now in the eighth loop also I insert, I make my two half double crochet and this is how I'm going to go till I come to the end of this round. You see? In the eighth loop, two half double crochet. So, right now, I've we'll got to the last loop here. Leaving this loop, I'm going to make a slip stitch. So I chain two, one, two. Have double crochet. Sorry. Next, half double crochet.
So on this round, it's going to be 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this ninth loop, I'm going to it's going to be two half double crochet. You can see I started from seven. The seventh one um, below is where I make my two double two half double crochet, followed by the next one, the eighth loop, followed by the next one here, ninth loop. So that is how it's going to um, continue like that with an increase of one till I go to um where i will be about to close or to round up this tutorial all right so far so good i've come to the conclusion of this tutorial can you see the heart can you see the design well online i want to believe that you will really like this can you see like I always say that each time you watch my tutorial, Endeavor to practice if you are interested in having one of my products. Thank you very, very much. I want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video. Thank you very, very much. Can you see? So please, can please don't forget to like this video, to share this video out and to subscribe if you are yet to do that thank you very much so till i come your way again bye for now